Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So every tool that is going to be reviewed today has something in common, which is they have had a major update. So instead of splitting this up into multiple videos, I decided to review everything in bulk, starting with Word Hero. And when I first heard the news that Word Hero now got the chat, I was very excited. And uh, <laughs> imagine my surprise when I decided to type something along the lines of Bitcoin price on April 30, 2023. I'm getting this reply. Hello, I can definitely help you. <laughs> and when I read the first line, I knew that War Hero was in trouble since they thought that April the 30th is the future. So instead of giving me the current price, they pulled out one of the crazy forecasts of the past saying that Bitcoin should be well over $200,000. And this tells me that this chat is not connected to Google. And this is a shame. So War Hero took a while to implement this feature. And when they did, they forgot, quote unquote, to connect it to the internet. And so this feature immediately lost its usefulness to me. So let's move on. Now to the auto blogging. Auto blogging have been very busy with different reviews and updates. And they have had this amazing and very large readability update, which now applies to quick mode, pro mode, and godlike mode. So to exemplify, let's pick a topic which is uh, chat. GPT for SEO. We will add AI image, we'll add FAQs, we'll fix grammar, we uh, we will leave tables. Uh, do not add flow means that same as ZimWriter, they will have these nice connect connectors between different uh, headings and paragraphs. So we'll just leave everything untouched here and let's press generate. Okay, and this is our article, a featured image. <laughs> Um, then look at this. This is amazing. So the overview contains the basic information about what is going to be talked about in the article, then the benefits in a list format, then another, another listicle, best practices, conclusion. And this is a very well thought out article. So I think that flows, this flows really well. And look at the conclusion. Like I rarely do I see this kind of the conclusion in the AI copywriters. And this is very important. It's a very, very nice update. Then let's go to Agility Writer. And Agility Writer has had two updates since we've last talked. So the first update, uh, which has been suggested by me, which is you can now get your outline, not from the top results, but from the concrete URLs. And the logic behind it being that, well, let's just, let me give you an example first. So let's just assume you are trying to target this keyword, which is how to start crypto mining at home. And this is newer writer, obviously. And you see that among the top 10 results, there are only a handful that are optimizing for this term here. So this one is Investopedia. And this one here, which is being crypto. And maybe, maybe, maybe this one here, which is a 55. They are closer together, but sometimes you get larger discrepancies. So the logic behind it is that you want to reference those who are optimized for the keyword. So instead of getting the average result across the top 10, you just pick this one and let's insert it here. This one. And finally, this one here. Okay, and this is our outline. And the use case for this is probably when you're trying to target low competition keywords. And you see that only one or two articles are actually optimized for this keyword. So again, instead of just taking the average, you are targeting the those very articles that are aiming for the keyword that you are after. And by the same logic, now when you're going to the advanced mode and factual data, you can now insert your custom factual data. Again, same logic. You can use the same three URLs. And this way, the factual data is going to be pulled from those three URLs only. 
And as you remember, our community has a special deal for Agility Writer, which is 15% off. So you only need to apply the WAS15 coupon code to get your discount. Now to Katab. Katab has been postponing their updates, but now they are finally rolling out part one of the update. So the things that are still in the works are the Katab chat, Katab NLP, uh, Katab Content Studio, so all these um, updates are very thought after. But you can immediately see the new UX, which is very nice. And the main changes that I like is the Credible Writer, which can now, again, same with Agility, contain three URLs. So the logic is uh, pretty much the same. You enter three URLs, you ask a question, and then it pulls factual data from those three URLs. Now Katab Plus. It now contains references, so if I ask for the price of Bitcoin, the very same thing that I tried with War Hero. So now it correctly states the current price and it has references as well. Unfortunately, <laughs> those are broken references, but again, the, the update is being rolled out as we speak and I'm sure they will fix those things. And last but not least is the long form article, which is now different. So if we use the same title, which is chat GPT for SEO. Then we need to choose our language, which is going to be English, target audience. And here I was trying to type some sort of descriptive thing like SEO professionals, but unfortunately it gives me a list of countries for some reason. So we'll choose United States. And now I can actually choose the wordage, so the word count. And in this example, I can go for 1500 words. And now table of contents, and there is one other inbuilt innovation, which I think is pretty handy. So you can still move around the headings, but now you can set different tones of voice, different perspectives, and different types of information for every, every H2. So say for the benefits, I want listicle, and maybe generating optimized content, I want a how-to. And we won't be generating this. <laughs> this is not the purpose of the video, but the quality of the content is quite high. And I actually wanted to review Zimwriter, who are going on version 7 and Copify, but they both have setbacks. Zimwriter is going to be available later in the week, and Copify is uh, rectifying the workflows while they were promising us the chat feature and the AA database. So once those are up and running, I will make my review. Hopefully this video was helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.